linebacker. You can play him at safety. He's able to play a little man coverage. You have him in zone. He's so versatile for your defense. See what young Tony has got dialed up on offense for the first time. At the helm, Josh Allen, quick throw, recognizing the heat was coming, and he'll get it into the hands of the playmaker, Reggie Bush. And Nick, if you remember what Tony told us in that media call, he said he knows Yardy's going to bring seven every play out of that 3-4 bear. It's exactly what's happening. Tony's got to be able to beat the blitz if he wants to be successful. Second and two. There's the heat again. Oh, that could have been six. Yardy knows he might have had a touchdown on the fourth. In today's Madden 21 tip breakdown, we're going to be breaking down Yardy's 3-4 bear blitz and how you can apply it to your own game in Madden NFL 21. Now, the way this uh, defense kind of works is it's kind of a philosophy. As you can see, Yardy's literally going to send seven every play. Now, the trick with this is to understand how to mix up your coverages out of the 3-4 uh, bear. Now, what I want to do is I want to jump into practice mode, and I want to break this down. But before we break it down, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day here on YouTube. We make four uh, videos every single day, and our upload schedule is 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, and then every single night we also live stream at um, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you are watching this, we'd love to have you come hang out at the stream. Also, make sure to subscribe so you can get that daily content. All right, guys, so 3-4 bear. This can be found in several playbooks, but we're actually using it out of the 46 bear uh, playbook. And I want to show you how this really does a good job, especially against gun bunch. Now, the play you have to come out in every single play. And what I like to do is put pinch dog three in my audibles, and I'll run with cover one hole, pinch dog three, cover two invert, and cover three. Now, you want to make sure that you're coming out in pinch buck O, and that's what that's going to do. You're going to notice is it's going to stack this linebacker. You see Bostic is going to come down and stack right here next to the pressure. Now, what's really cool about this pressure is it's very, very simple. You're blitzing seven. All you're going to do is you're going to globally blitz your linebackers, right? Globally blitz your linebackers, very simple. And then the last thing that I like to do out of this is I actually like to man align, press coverage for my coverage, and then I'm going to take whoever is guarding the tight end. As you can see here, it's Everett, and I'm going to stand and hover right over this gap. Now, if I'm concerned about whether or not the running back's going to go out on a route, I will just man him up on triangle. And if he does not go out on a route, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the right, um, the right joystick to send him in on a pressure, which is going to consistently overload the blitz. Okay? So it's very simple. You get very nice alignment from this coverage as well, um, especially when you man align it. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to crash our line to the right. What I... What I like to do is I actually like to spread my defensive line just to keep everything nice and, and spread. And again, you're going to basically run down into the A-gap, and then essentially you're going to lurk into the tight end's route. So what you see here at the snap of the ball, I'm going to come down, oh, the tight end's on a flat, and I'm going to jump out and go get him. As you can see, we're still able to get two people free from the quarterback. And let me just jump into, into instant replay. And as you can see, the setup's very simple, right? You're overloading. It's not necessarily a nano blitz because you're literally blitzing um, seven people at the quarterback. Now, in this scenario right here, you notice that this tackle, because we've manned up that linebacker on the left, you notice that he is going to go guard the running back. That tackle is crashing down, and that center is able to draw that double team. This is primarily because of our user in the A-gap. So you see the speed rush on the out outside edges is able to get in against the quarterback and really force him to, you know, right here he could have thrown the flat for, you know, maybe a couple yards. We would have tackled him instantly. But you notice the heavy pressure. Now, the key with this is to mix up your coverages with this pressure. So, for example, if you notice that they are max protecting, I want to show you what you can do. So, same thing. We're going to spread our line, crash them to the right, man align, press coverage. Make sure that you're always shading your coverage over top. And I personally have started doing inside coverage just to help with the post routes. So now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to man up that running back with that play side linebacker. So we're going to globally blitz our linebackers here. And then we're just going to man up triangle onto, um, onto the, the running back right here, just like this. And we're going to use her right in this, in this gap. Now what you're going to notice at the snap of the ball is they're going to max protect. Meaning they're going to block the tight end and they're going to block the running back. When I notice that, my job as the, as the uh, defensive quarterback, defensive captain, is to click the right joystick in, and you're literally going to hear it. You're, you can hear it click, 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 right? And what you're going to notice here is when I click this joystick in, it's going to send that third guy, and you're going to see you're going to consistently be able to get pressure as well. 
Now, max protect is what everyone's strategy is going to be to stop this blitz. But what's the cool part about this 3-4 bear is oftentimes you can actually get pressure in against the max protect. So I'll show you one more time here. Let's know all of our linebackers, snap of the ball. And you're going to notice here um, we're able to get, we're almost able to get that right edge pressure. If you're struggling getting the pressure to come in against Max Protect, which Max Protect is certainly designed to stop this pressure, if you are struggling to get the pressure, just QB Contain Rush off the outside and just hold your user just a little bit longer. Right? I just want to make sure this guy comes down just a little longer, and there you see there's the pressure off that edge. So this is a, a really heavy blitz strategy, and obviously you're giving up a lot of resources against the pass. So another concept or another thing that you can do, especially against Gun Bunch, is you can put Cloud Flats on the outside here, you see these cloud flats because I know the pressure is going to come in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an inside quarter on that right side. You'll be surprised at how well that defends a lot of what Bunch wants to do. And again, we're going to crash that line to the right. Now you can kind of hover, you know, kind of change where you want to hover. But right here you see we get super, super quick pressure. And again, I'm using on the back end. If you notice they're not blocking a running back or a tight end, do not go down with your user. Just jump into coverage because that means they've sent everybody on a route. So like right here, what you're going to notice is, okay, I'm going to send the pressure at him. And same concept, right? I'm going to man up that running back. And I'm always going to pass command. Now, what you're going to notice right here is they're not going to, I notice, oh, the tight end's on a route. I got to go get him. That's kind of your job. If the tight end or running back go on a route, whichever one's not covered by that linebacker, you need to go guard him. But this can really be a nice little pressure. And, um, you know, in the beginning of the game, honestly, one of my favorite tactics here is to simply do a little simple zone coverage just to, just to kind of test them early, right? Just to kind of test them early. So I'll do something like this, especially against Gun Bunch. We'll play deep halves on the outside, just to kind of pretend like we're going to take away those outside routes. And then we've got a flat in the middle of the field. So we're basically lurking right here. All they have is their back. So little things like that, mixing up your coverages. And then at key moments, you know, and Yardy doesn't do this in his scheme very much. It's pretty much 7-7 the entire game. But in key moments, you can do certain things. Like, you can take both of these linebackers and man them up on the tight end and the running back. And then you can take the outside rushers here, or I'm sorry, the, the nose tackles, the guards. I'm sorry, the defensive ends, technically. Throw them into purples. And now you've got everybody's favorite coverage. And you can now, you know, basically, you know, just essentially lurk over the middle, you know, if they throw into coverage. So this is a, a defense that is kind of in a defensive extremes, right? You can either send heavy pressure or you can have heavy coverage. Another defense I really like is the pinch dog three. It's going to give the same look, but now what we're going to do is we're going to be running this. And essentially what I like to do from this is I will oftentimes just my know that my job is the deep middle of the field. So if there's anything that goes deep, I'm going to be on top of it right here. So as you see, I can kind of take the deep. The underneath coverage is going to work well, and you actually get really, really good sheds from this defense. So anyways, guys, this is a 3-4 bear defense in a nutshell. Uh, exactly what you need to do. Now, if you want more exclusive tips from this, I actually have a whole defensive guide, a defensive ebook on this, showing you five, six-man, four-man blitzes out of this 3-4 bear, showing you some shed defense as well as breaking down the entire 46 playbook with nickel 3-5, through five, nickel 3-5 three, three, five wide, nickel normal, big nickel over G, 46 bear under, uh, and 46 normal, 46 bear as well. So if you want to pick up that ebook, you can get that in the description. It comes with over 125 pages of breakdown, both on the defensive and the offensive side of the ball. It's really going to help you uh, take your game to the next level. So you can pick up that full ebook in the description. Other than that, guys, if you have any Madden questions, you can always text me. Um, feel free to join our text message membership. It's completely free. All you have to do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644, and we release exclusive tips to our text message members every single week. We've gone given over an hour of a gun bunch guide we've given over an hour and a half of a big nickel over g we've talked about the minnesota vikings playbook we've also shared um, some insight into our arizona playbook in that so if you're looking to get better in madden i highly highly encourage you to take a look at that texting membership other than that guys our discord link is in the description if you want to be a part of that and we will be live streaming at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time and our next video will go live at four o'clock p.m eastern thanks for watching and we'll see you